Rain showers likely, low 53. Here's our seven day outlook. team of reporters out in the thick of it to a team of experts in the Global Forecast Center. We have coverage only the Weather Channel can bring you. That's right. We've got you covered both here as well as our experts here in the Global Forecast Center. And of course, that next advisory, by the way, from the National Hurricane Center should be out in about an hour and 10 minutes. For a look at preparations, here's Mike Seidel. He's in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. As Hurricane Sandy steams north and turns into a hybrid monster, a massive windstorm, especially across inland areas out here on the beaches, they're concerned. Here on the Jersey Shore, it's going to be worse than it was with Irene. Remember, Irene moved by. We had some surge, then the winds went offshore. But this time around, the center of Sandy will go in south of here. That's going to pile the water up. It's going to be a long-duration surge event. There will be more damage. The high tides of concern are Monday morning, give or take 30 minutes around 8 o'clock, and then again, dinner time around 7.30, 8 o'clock on Monday evening. Surge heights as much as 8 feet. Now, remember the high tides inland, like in Raritan Bay and those inland rivers and estuaries, will occur later. Also remember, the wave action gets superimposed on top of the surge. Now, earlier on Saturday, the governor, Chris Christie of New Jersey, ordered mandatory evacuations for all these barrier islands at 4 p.m. Sunday, but then he rescinded the order for this area, and we talked earlier to the acting mayor what that means. Uh, we will be doing mandatory evacuations for everywhere east of the tracks, which is um, the railroad track. It's uh, four blocks east, and that will begin tomorrow and hopefully be completed by 4 p.m., as the governor had said. Um, they'll be going door to door, and those who choose to stay will have to sign a release um, saying that they know that they were supposed to be evacuated. And as those mandatory evacuations take place on Sunday, the weather will go downhill. Rain moves in here certainly by early Sunday afternoon. Then the winds will start to pick up. We're expecting gusts by Sunday afternoon, upwards of 30, maybe 35 miles an hour. Then Sunday night, Monday, and Monday night, the worst of the weather. Winds could gust easily over 60, maybe 65 miles an hour. That's when we have the worst uh, surge. And again, a lot of damage expected along these beaches here on the Jersey Shore. Back to you. Thanks so much, Mike. We want to keep you weather ready ahead of Sandy, of course. The storm is going to pack some pretty strong winds across a widespread area, which can cause a serious situation for people that don't protect themselves. Meteorologist Reynolds Wolf has more on what you need to know. Unfortunately, this has become an all too familiar scene. High winds causing trees and power lines to fall on homes, cars, and many times, people. As damaging and deadly as these winds can be, there are simple things you can do to protect yourself and your family. First of all, when wind gusts escalate, stay inside an interior portion of the lower levels of your home, like a basement. Trees can be uprooted and crash through the roof and walls of your home without warning, causing tremendous damage. If you are caught outside during high winds, watch for flying debris and take cover inside a building. If you're driving, keep 